So overall, we've looked at a four-stage process that gets us from an AC signal to a DC signal. And this is a, a rather simple design, and I would also imagine a rather inefficient one. And there are some parameters we really need to take into account as we go from one stage to another. In the transformer, there is always sort of no free lunch. And so depending on how much voltage you're trying to drop or step up in the transformer, it might need to be a rather large and bulking component. Especially if there are high currents involved, the transformer itself can actually become rather hot. In the rectifier, again, depending on how many currents, how much current is passing through, you might need sizable diodes can, that can handle the amount of power passing through the circuit. Additionally, there will be some losses due to the diodes as they all require a certain amount of voltage to turn on. When it comes to the filtering, the size of your resistors and capacitors is dependent upon the level of ripple voltage your circuit can sustain and the frequency of the incoming signal. And in the final stage, you want to pick your ripple voltage, both the magnitude and sort of the absolute value of it, to make sure that when you put in that regulating diode, that you aren't burning way too much energy. And this final stage in many designs is probably not going to be just a simple Zener diode, but a more, compli more complicated linear or switching regulator.